Hello everyone, before we begin to our proper lesson, let's pray first to be led by Mr. John. John, can you lead the prayer? Amen. Hello dear students, welcome to our virtual class today. I am happy to be here in front of this new normal education. This is your teacher on screen, Sigrid Dupla, and before and before we start, let me check the attendance first. Okay. Labor. Nabayag. Puntilya. Sabatin. Kaya. Pinyar. Nastor. Nasinto. Habines. And Ramos. Today, I will make sure that you will enjoy and learn our lesson today. Um, so... Get your pen and paper ready as we learn about the game characteristics, the history of volleyball, and the six basic skills of volleyball. Yesterday, we talked about the history, the game characteristics, and basic skills of basketball, which is the most popular team sport team sports in the whole world and today we will talk about volleyball but before that let's know our objectives first after after going through this lesson you are expected to define volleyball appreciate the importance of volleyball history and basic skills to the life of students and also perform the basic skills of volleyball all right students are you ready let's begin are you familiar with these people what sports are they known for volleyball you got it right they are both professional players of the sports volleyball she is Eliza Valdez a Filipino volleyball player who currently plays for Kremlin Cool Smashers. She was a member of Kulijak Varsity Volleyball Team of Ateneo de Manila University in both indoor and beach volleyball. Here is the men's national volleyball player team captain John Vic de Guzman is a stellar pro athlete with the PLDT home fiber ultra fast hitters. He shot to prominence through his winning college career, leading the La Salle College of Saint Benilde to an NCAA championship in season 92, as well as earning the most valuable player honors along the way. Are you interested to know further about volleyball? then you are in the right place because i will be your guide to know the most enjoyable team sports in the world volleyball was invented in 1895 by william g morgan the physical director of young men's christian association or ymca in holyoke massachusetts it was designed as an indoor sports for businessmen who found the new game of basketball to vigorous. Morgan called this sport Mintonet until a professor from Springfield College in Massachusetts noted that the volley nature of play and proposed the name of volleyball. So volleyball before is called Mintonet that was changed by a professor from Springfield College in Massachusetts. Springfield College in Massachusetts is the place where the volleyball is originated. The original rules were written by Morgan and imprinted by the first edition of the official handbook of the Athletic League of the Young Men's Christian Association of North America in 1897. So what are the characteristics of volleyball? The ball is put in play with a service hit by the server over the opponent's playing court. The early continues until the ball is grounded on the playing court or the opponent goes out or a team fails to return it properly. 
Each rally wins a point which is called rally point scoring. When the receiving team wins, it gains a point and the right to serve. And each player rotate one position counterclockwise. Passing Passing is simply getting the ball to someone else on your team after it's been served or hit over the net by the opposing team. It's commonly thought of as the most important skill in all volleyball because routine can be turned the ball without a solid volleyball pass. Forearm volleyball passes are often used to direct the ball in a controlled manner to a teammate, but overhead passing is another option. Next is the setting. The setting. The setter has the most important position in the team and it's often the team leader for this reason. It's their job to make it easy for teammate to get the ball over the volleyball net, preferably with a spike that the other team can return the setting motion, gets the ball hanging in the air ready to be spiked by the another teammate with force. The third one is spiking, a real crowd pleaser. Spiking is the act of slamming the ball in a downward motion across the volleyball net to the other team's side of the court. Spiking is very difficult to return, which is why it's an essential skill. A proper spike will have a cumulate points quickly. Next is blocking. Blocking is another important skill, although it's probably the most expendable of the fundamentals, still it adds a great dimension to the game. By timing it right, you can jump up or block the opponent's attack before it even crosses the volleyball net, which can take them by surprise and give your team an easy point. And the fifth one is digging. Digging is a defensive manner in volleyball that could save your team from offensive spike or attack. And lastly, serving. The final fundamental skills in serving. How can you be a great volleyball player without knowing how to serve? It is one of the most important skill in volleyball, the serving, because serve starts the game. So, the six basic skills in volleyball are passing, setting, spiking, blocking, digging, and serving. And to assess what you have learned for today's lesson, let's have an activity. And now go get your pen and paper and let's begin. What skill of volleyball is this? 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 And for the analysis, how will you find the activity? 
how will you be able to know the skills of volleyball? And for abstraction, complete the unfinished statements. I learned that the basic skills of volleyball are I like volleyball because Great job, students! Give yourselves a thumbs up if you got the perfect score. And if not, don't worry. Try to go back yourselves a module and do the learning task. Thank you for participating. I hope you had fun learning with me today. And see you tomorrow for our next lesson. This is Sigrid Dupla, your physical education teacher. God bless.